cyanuric acid, also known as CYA, pool conditioner or pool stabilizer, is crucial for maintaining your water's chemical balance. But while CYA helps protect your chlorine from the sun's ultraviolet rays, too much CYA isn't good for your water chemistry. So here's everything that you need to know about how to lower your CYA levels. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, what causes high CYA levels? The most common contributor to high CYA levels is stabilized chlorine. Most chlorine tablets or chlorine granules are made of stabilized dichlor and trichlor, and stabilized chlorine comes with small amounts of cyanuric acid. As you add stabilized chlorine to your water, your CYA levels can build up over time, even as your chlorine levels fluctuate up and down. That's because as water evaporates from the swimming pool, the cyanuric acid remains in the water. So if you're trying to bring down your cyanuric acid levels, the first step is to stop adding stabilized chlorine. So how do you lower cyanuric acid levels? Ideally, your cyanuric acid levels should be between 30 and 50 parts per million and around 80 parts per million if you have a saltwater pool. If your levels are way too high, you'll need to dilute your water by partially draining and refilling your pool with fresh water. Diluting your water is the most effective way to lowering your CYA levels. But before diluting your pool, test your water. If your CYA levels are extremely high, your reading might be off the chart and you'll need to take a water sample to your local pool store. Begin partially draining your pool using a submersible pump, a hose siphon, or the waste setting on your filtration system. Depending on how high your CYA levels are, you may want to remove a few inches of water. And as you drain your pool, make sure that your water level never reaches below the skimmer. Otherwise, your pump may run dry. Now, once you've drained out some of the water, refill your swimming pool with fresh water, ideally with a hose filter, and then retest your pool water. Now, what about using cyanuric acid reducers? While these chemicals are an alternative to draining and refilling your pool, they tend to be expensive and don't work for every pool owner. Cyanuric acid reducers won't work if you've added clarifiers, algicides, or phosphate treatments to the pool in the past week. You'll also need your pool water to be at least 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and your other pool chemicals like pH and total alkalinity should be in range before using. Draining and refilling your pool with fresh water is the most effective way to bring down your CYA levels, but the best strategy is preventing it from happening in the first place. So be sure to test your water regularly, and if you have chronically high cyanuric acid, watch how much stabilized chlorine you're adding to your water. If you need more help with pool maintenance, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.